Further inland, Himba has barely moved from the river. The surrounding vegetation is no longer edible. They have to leave as soon as possible. Rosa and her daughter know that if the infant doesn't get up quickly, he may become too weak to rise again. They want to keep him moving. They lead him towards a mud hole. The others wallow. They coat themselves in mud as a protection from the sun. Himba has run out of strength. Rosa and her daughter won't leave the car, but without food, they can't stay at the waterhole any longer. Once more, his family rally round to get him going again. It's all too much for him, but... 